Hear me, traveller, before you continue. In the year 1109, the formation of the Great Sultanate of the Iron Wall of the Two Horns pierces the sky. It will unite the scattered Islamic factions over the land in the coming decades, as its faithful warriors guard its walls and fearsome fighters take the battle to the enemy. The Great Iron Wall of Iskandar re-emerges and fortifies against all the spawns of Shaitan. In the smouldering trenches of a war unlike any other in history, humanity fights for its very soul at the gates of hell. Forget the small battles of ancient tales. This is a brutal clash between the righteous fury of the faithful and the unspeakable horrors unleashed from the depths of the abyss. The stench of rotting flesh mingles with the smoke of brimstone, and the crushed bones of faithful and heretic alike pave the ground as soldiers, both blessed and damned, face off in a nightmarish stalemate for the soul of the world. Welcome to Trench Crusade, a world where faith can save or damn reality itself. Technology takes a twisted paranormal turn, and every inch of blook-soaked soil holds the key to humanity's survival. Choose your side and prepare to fight. Your shoulders bear the weight of all creation. Join me today, my friends, as we get into this incredible universe. We are taking a look at the Sultanate of the Iron Wall. The majestic Iron Wall is one last stronghold of faith in the smouldering wreckage of a betrayed world. Benevolently behind it sits the Great Sultanate, a haven rebuilt from the wreckage. Here, the echoes of a frantic migration, the escape of the faithful from a nightmare unleashed by unbelievers, still linger. The Iron Wall is a tale carved in blood and will. It is evidence of the human spirit that persists in the face of annihilation, as it describes powerful faith fighting back against Shaitan's hordes. Prepare to enter a realm where forgotten wisdom seeks refuge under war-torn skies. Inside the unassailable fortifications, elite fighters stay alert day and night, their undying loyalty shielding them against a hellish foe. This is a story of survival, spoken on the wind and imprinted in the hearts of people who live near the Iron Wall, not only of conflict, but with the faith of world rebuilt. In the name of Allah, the compassionating, the compassionate, praise be to Allah, the beneficent King, the creator of the universe, Lord of the three worlds, who set up the firmament without pillars in its stead, and who stretched out the earth even as a bed, and grace and prayer, blessing be upon our Lord Muhammad, Lord of apostolic men, and upon his family and companion train, prayer and blessings, enduring, and grace which unto the day of doom shall remain. It looked lost when the infidels opened the thrice-cursed gate of Jahannam, releasing the Gog and Magog onto those who believed Shaitan would triumph over Dunya. However, the creator of the universe intervened to save the faithful, and as documented, the massive iron wall of Du al Qanain emerged within the Sultan of Rum's domain. Those who believed righteously received a call. Throughout the next decades, all the faithful migrated across Europe, Asia, and Africa, second in importance only to the Hijra of the Prophet himself. As locusts swarm fields of ripe sesame, the heretics and their shaitan lords swarmed them, devouring them and constructing grotesque monuments and statues from their limbs and heads, preventing their burial as prescribed by the holy scriptures. On the road and at sea, millions died. But once all those who survived the trip had arrived, the great gates of al Qanain closed and the great sultanate of the two horns piercing the sky took shape. Since that day, the Jahannam slaves have relentlessly attacked the Sultanate, leading to daily mourning for new martyrs who protect the wall and confront the heretics who have breached its defences. But from mosques of white marble and gold, the Muezzin call on the faithful to pray for the success of the Sultan's army as it struggles to protect the lands within the wall and defend the caravan trails that provide the Sultanate with vital trade goods. Inside the walls, lost knowledge blooms. The Iron Wall is the world's best defensive work, a massive barrier studded with Sultan's renowned cannon. The elite Janissary regiments have barracks at predetermined intervals close to the wall so they may react to any attack at speed. Azeb sharpshooters are always alert for surprise attacks. During a more serious incursion, the House of Wisdom unleashes its terrible Taquin creations upon the enemy, summoning a full muster of Azebs. 
If the need is dire, the Sultan personally steps forward, leading his Janissaries in a march under the green flag of the Prophet. The defence of the Iron Wall has greatly influenced the Sultanate way of war. While the loping lions of Jabir attack the enemy flanks, the conscripted Azebs are professionals in feigned flight and skirmish. As they make their torturous trip across the battlefield, dotted with traps laid by the expert sappers, the Sultan's great cannon bombs the enemy. The Janissaries, Sultan's elite household troops, close in and defeat the enemy with their devastating countercharge, driven by their iron-willed officers when they reach the ranks of the loyal. While the alchemists of the House of Wisdom unleash powerful weapons enhanced by their elemental expertise that can overcome the defences of nearly any opponent, the fearsome assassins from Alamut relentlessly pursue and target the opposing elites and leaders. Beyond the Iron Wall, the armies of the Sultan operate in small mobile businesses, each with a specific goal to fulfil. They search for relics from the time of the prophets, hunt for lost riches and volumes of knowledge from the remains of the destroyed caliphates or hunt out apostates who have gone to serve shaitans. Through an accord between the church and the sultanate on being co-belligerents against Jahannam, the leaders of these expeditions will accept no interference and do not hesitate to smash those who would impede their mission. Resentment against the unbelievers who released Gog and Magog runs deep in the Sultanate, quickly settling honour issues through death-defying duels. Woe to those brave enough to impede the goal of those who believe. The Iron Wall serves as a rebellious echo against a world engulfed in shadows. It protects a permanently damaged people, their faith created in the furnace of loss. Beyond its grandeur, the marks of conflict still show over the devastated land. Driven by a righteous wrath and echoes of a lost realm, the Sultanate's warriors set forth on bold expeditions. They fight not only for their own existence, but also for the recovery of broken pieces of knowledge and the defeat of those who turned on the faith. Hope, delicate but persistent, hangs to life inside this bastion. Will the darkness wipe it permanently or will it blossom again? This broken planet's fate rests on the brink, a narrative spoken on the wind just waiting to be penned in the blood of heroes and the dust of civilizations. The story of the Iron Wall is an unfinished epic carved out of sacrifice and resistance.